everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. I am so excited about today's video. As you can see behind me here, I have the Essie Advent Calendar. And up here in Canada, these basically don't exist. This is the only nail polish advent calendar I have seen. Um, nothing basically ships to Canada, you don't see them in stores. And I understand that's because nail polish can't fly. Um, so transportation is a much bigger issue. But that just makes me sad because it, it is an experience that I want and it is an experience I'm going to get today and I get to share that with you guys. We get to add to my nail polish collection. Do we need to? No. Am I excited to do it though? Yes. Yes, I am thrilled. So we're just going to dive right into this calendar. If you like advent calendar unboxings and if you like nail polish project pans, make sure that you like this video. Give me a comment down below and subscribe to this channel so you can see when these do roll in to my project polish. So this is the calendar here. This is the Essie All Aboard the Essie Express. Very cute kind of ski theme, very wintry. And this is the inside here. Let's guys take a moment, take a look at it. There's something very interesting going on in this calendar. I'll insert a picture so you can see it perhaps a little bit better. Is Essie allergic to odd numbers? Because I don't see any. These are all even numbers in here. So we do have going up to day 24, which is this guy here. But, you know, 6, 14, 22, 4, 18, 8. Fascinating. I don't understand. But, oh well, <laughs> it just means I'm probably going to have a harder time keeping track of numbers like you guys saw me do my 25 Days of Beauty Surprises calendar. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave it linked for you guys down below. But let's just dive right into this. So let's begin. Day number one slash two is this box way down here. Oh no! It is much harder to open than the Christmas advent calendar before. This is very interesting. So on the other side of here, it says off tropic. Um, so this is also not off tropic. Yeah, fascinating. Off tropic is a green nail polish. As it tells us here, lush grove green keeps the focus right where it belongs on you. Is this green? This looks like a top coat. The glow and shine hard to resist top coat. So fascinating that it doesn't line up with what it says on here. Very, very interesting. But this is the first item that we have received. Always good to have a top coat, nice little travel size of it as well. You can add it to the stash. Day number four is this one right up here. Inside we have Ooh, something sparkly. That one might seem to match. This one does match. So this little note here says, a cut above, top your favorite Essie color with a coat of jewels and create a lavish nail look with this cutting edge, shattered pink diamond glitz lacquer. That's the color of this one here. And as long as it's easy to remove, then I'm excited about it. Um, I do have a top, like kind of something similar to this from Sephora in gold. I believe it's gold fever. That is like impossible to get off the nails. It's a real struggle. So I'm hoping this formula is a lot better. And with it being that rose gold pink kind of color, it's very exciting. This was our second day, day number two slash four, depending how we're counting it. So let's open it up, see what we've got. Okay, we have a full size nail polish. This one is in ballet slippers, um, a very sh probably sheer kind of color, light pink, very, very light pink here. Very nice. I am excited. I have not tried this one before. So this was day number three slash six. Back into our calendar for day number eight, just right over here. Let's see what we've got. something mini sized. Uh oh, we're having a hard time ripping this guy. All right, it says it's hard to resist. 
Um, but this one, this is going to be off tropic. I was correct. This is off tropic. So that's our nice little foresty grove green color. Another cream in our box here. And that one is really nice. I do already have a full size of this in my collection that I haven't even touched yet. Um, but I thought it was a very nice green. It does work as a Christmas green, kind of maybe a spring fall green as well. So pretty versatile for a color. So as he's off tropic. Day number 10 down in the corner with the trees. We're getting back probably to a mini sized bottle. Oh. Preparations are the best on this package. Oh dear. All right. Day number 10. 10. Still trying to get to 10. There we go. Ooh. Okay. A different bottle. So this is actually their gel couture line, I believe. Yeah, their gel couture line. This one is in the shade. There's Anya making her first audio appearance. This is actually the first time she's barked while I've been recording any of my videos. So I have been quite impressed so far. Uh, Anya is a five-year-old Rottweiler lab mix. Very protective of the house. Um, but this guy here, this is Electric Gemet. I promise I can sometimes say words. Electric geometric. There we go. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Kind of a orangey, ready pink color. It looks very orange on camera right now. It is a little bit more vibrant in person. But that is our next one. So very excited to try this line of the assay products as well. Day number 12. It's looking pretty good. It's a good size in here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm having a hard time ripping. Summit of Style, and of course I've ripped off part of what it tells me about it. But this is the color Summit of Style, so again, very similar to cut above just we have a pure kind of yellow gold here whereas this is more of that pink rosy gold kind of color so some large chunks of glitter very timely for new year's right so new year's eve coming up tomorrow time is flying very quickly so again as long as this is easy to remove or eventually if i can find a peel off base coat i'm kind of on a mission to Ideally to find one in stores. If you know where to find one in stores in Canada, leave a comment down below. But otherwise, I am excited to give this a try. I do like using toppers just to change up my manicures. So I do like having some stuff to make it a little bit more versatile and kind of switch up the manicure. Day number 14, so we're back up here. Can I get into this? No. So we have another mini. This one looks like Mrs. Always Right. Um, so we've got a fierce terracotta rose to remind people who wears the pants. So this is Mrs. Always Right. A nice rosy uh, kind of pink color. Uh, it is a cream. It should be quite good, especially for Valentine's Day. It should be good for the spring. So that's a nice color to have in a collection. All right, day 16, we're down in the corner once again. Let's dive into it. Pulling from this side this time. Oh no, it's adult proof, guys. All right, misfit right in. Okay, so it is a, ooh, a shimmering bronze with black undertones, and this comes from their Expressy line. Getting a few lines from them in this advent calendar. I do like the Expressy line. It does have that angled brush on it. So this is Misfit right in. I'm trying to capture some of that color there for you. Yeah, definitely bronze. It's got some shimmer in there. Kind of goes to kind of red-ish, kind of orange, kind of brown. So yeah, bronze, essentially. 
I very much like that one. I'm very excited about it. I have looked at this one in stores and thought about purchasing it, but looks like I don't have to do that now. I can just enjoy this one for my advent calendar. Just for a point of reference, the small little ones have five milliliters of product in it. The Expressi line has 10 milliliters of product. And then these, the full size has 13.5. But again, you get that variety, you get to try different colors, different formulas, different tones. So very excited, misfit right in. So 18 is the one right over here. Uh, let's see where, it's right down here at the bottom. All right. From the other side. Okay. It's upside down because I didn't tear it properly. There we go. So this is the Gel Couture Top Coat. It's supposed to seal, help protect, uh, to magnify, shine for an ultra glossy, flawless finish. And there's our Gel Couture Top Coat just right there for us. All right, three days left of this advent calendar. Day number 20 is just in the trees over here. I do really enjoy the trees. I'm a big nature lover. The shade Blanc. So this one tells us it is the perfect fridge manager um, for doing the tips. It is full coverage, pure snowy white to create an elegant smooth line every time. Those are some big claims for a color like this. And there's the white right there for us. So, again, because it's more designed for that French manicure tip, we'll kind of see how that goes, how sheer it is, how full coverage it is, as it claims to be. But yeah, very exciting. So we've got the white for us. Two days left in this happy calendar, day number 22, just right up in the top here. Wow, so loud. Oh dear, okay. Spiked with style. So an edgy, deep blood red. Might also come in handy for this is fantasy. I just rolled the vampire in a blood red color. Um, and this, again, is a their Jill Couture line. I am a seasonal polish wearer, so this would be something that would be good for the fall or the winter for me. But yeah, definitely one of those deep kind of standard classic colors. This one, once again, was spiked with style. All right, guys, we made it. We're on the last day of this advent calendar. Day number 24 is a nice big box here, so probably gonna see something different than we've seen so far. Is it the most exciting product? Maybe? I mean, depending on what your preferences are, right? This comes in the box that is very exciting this is their apricot cuticle oil well it smell like apricot so that was something to find out to instantly condition protect cuticles from dry dryness and provide nourishing moisture so there it is in the box i don't want to open it quite yet uh, i do have a cuticle open right now that i'm not very good at using. I should use them, especially with how often I do my manicures. I tend to do my manicure every day or every other day. On this one, you're supposed to use twice a day. That seems to be a tall order because I might use one of these or a product like this twice a month. 97% natural formula, apricot kernel oil, Jehovah oil. It sounds fantastic. Hopefully I do get some good use out of this particular guy. Uh, it's got 13.5 milliliters of product in there. So we've got one cuticle oil. So we've got two top coats, one from their regular line, one from their gel couture line. We have two of the couture lines. So two cream colors here. Three minis from their regular line, two creams, one glitter topper. One full-sized Expressi and three full-sized items from their regular lines. We've got two more of the nude kind of colors and we have one of the glitter toppers. That is everything in the Essie All Aboard the Essie Express Nail Polish Advent Calendar for 2022. When I'm looking at all of these items in front of me, 
know what? I am pretty excited. I do think the value was there, especially since I was able to save a little bit buying this after Boxing Day. Um, it's a pretty good color selection. I like the variety of products in here. Top coats, a little bit less exciting and I am not consistent with using top coats. I only tend to use them if I'm working with a polish or a formula that moves very quickly on its own. And as long as the glitters are easy to remove, then I'm excited for these guys as well. But thank you so much for joining me for this advent calendar unboxing. If you do like nail polish related content, make sure you check out my project polish, which is already up on my channel. The intro is there. And of course I will be filming an update towards the end of January or the beginning of February in 2023. Thank you so much for spending some time for me. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below with what your favorite nail polish is that I unboxed in this mystery calendar. And of course I'll see you guys for my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.